me, I promise. You will be there your world the day. Welcome to this episode of Your Day. My name is Coach Sean and for a reason. Now, before I even go talk about what I can't talk about, uh, please, my friend they sell share butter. Proper share butter. But well then she be YouTuber right now, disappointed YouTuber. So right now, uh she they sell um share butter, cinnamon powder, and turmeric powder. Um, what comes organic? What you say? No additive, bro. In products be top tier, especially the share butter. Oh my goodness! With me, the share ah, with Brady Jesus Christ. I've seen reviews and things, and even my boss. So I did beg. Uh, yes, make you people patronize the product for a sister. Okay, if you go mention my name, oh, mention my name. Say Sheldon brought me here. What you say? So the information and the number to WhatsApp or their social media handles. Um, on on the fly and yeah, I know I check him out. Now, on this episode, we are we are we are going to talk about sampling. Now, Burner Boy has been trending on Twitter. First of all, Burner Boy is uh, Burner Boy is about to release um the album Love the Mini, and it is crazy, bro. It is going to be my Boston analytics because, ladies and gentlemen, the the people that he has recruited on the album more than Avengers. So what do you say? It, bro, if it, that. I sure said, as if your man dropped this thing no, next day, they win Grammy with that. What they are say? And you know, say Odogu oh, dear. Um, you know the mess. But yes, yesterday too, um, he, he blocked uh, one of my guys for Twitter, Latif. Now Latif, you know, I don't know what is wrong with Latif. Okay. You do a Satan, you see, Jesus Christ, they work hard, but Satan they work harder than that. Honestly, because what Latif did, it didn't make sense to me. Now, you know, there is this video trending where Steph London is seen twerking on Sean Paul on stage. You know Steph London, you understand? He, he ex- I don't know whether them do or they no day because somebody chopped breakfast. Where the video, no, we all will really watch him, we all will watch him. Nobody tag Bernard Boy. Latif alone will tag Bernard Boy. Say, so make Bernard Boy watch, then do what? Now you ask, do, you know the you don't cast la, la, uh, last last the song inside. You know your man talks say I no go feel you take your insult to then if you say it a joke. Your man took the thing to heart. He block your man. It means say your man is still going through him. The last last song where people they take jam it be heartbreak song. Where you do I people they take jam jam ah it not be nice. So like if this one there me I did. Uh, on Odogu inside, you know, if you do that, something we all if you can say, Bena Boy, no see the video, you pay, you pay, you won't go tag him, then block you, and now you can't get any complaint. So, I like if you'll be a bonanza anyway. So, let's go into the um, the main reason I'm here it's about Bena Boy and it's about sampling. Now, you know, um, his last last song. Charlie, it's been a global hit. Like, bro, since the release of that song, it's been everywhere. And yet, you know, be empty, but everywhere you go, you go here, last, last. It's crazy. Like, the, the, the way people, they bash the song, and they have even forgotten, say, nah, he wrote that song out of pain, like, out of heartbreak. He chalked breakfast where he take right the song. People know they care. People, they take jam left, right, center. At some point, people have even said, say, oh, your man said he has laced the song with crack. Hence, that be why he be addictive and tense. Because, bro, if you play that song, you go, you go continue to play, I'm saying. If you check my playlist like this, it be crazy the number of times I play the song. And I'm happy for him, say, he's been able to release such a global monster hit. But the song, he sampled the beat. He sampled uh, Tony Braston's He Wasn't Man Enough, which was released 12 years ago. So Bernard West sampled her. And there is nothing wrong with that. Sampling in music, it, there is nothing wrong with that. In fact, if he said he did bring creativity out of a lot of artists that are, in, from, uh, that are inside. Kanye West, for example. Nobody they sample better than Kanye. So sampling, there is nothing wrong with that. Now, Bernard Boy sampled this song. So in an interview, you know, he, he said, said uh, yes, he, I mean, he sampled, blah, 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 blah. By the end of the day, you know, Tony Braxton is getting 60%. You understand? From royalties. With regards to the song, like, so the song, you know, the money we will accrue from streaming platforms, you know, uh, yes, Tony Braxton is uh, entitled to 60%. Legos. <laughs> hey, fuck that. You got me on the way. Fuck this, man. Hey, now, yeah, man. Now, I see. 
Last Last got a sample from Tony Braxton. Yeah. How do you go about when you walk? Like, how was the scene set when you walk? Do it got to be a certain way when you go in the studio? No. You just go in any studio. Yeah. You just, let me do my thing. Comes and tells me what's allowed and what's not. Feel me? Okay. Good. Feel me? As soon as someone comes and says anything about something's not allowed, we out. You feel me? You st- all right. Now, how did how did the Tony Braxton sample jump off? So it was chopsticks. That was, it was actually my idea, to be honest. Okay. Like, you know I mean? so it was like, you was jamming the Tony, huh? Nah, I just wanted. I just always wanted to. I just wanted to use that sample. For, I just and I knew chopsticks could do crazy, some crazy with it. So yeah. yeah. I just pointed that shit out and then he just took it from me and really, you know. So yeah. That's one of the that's one of the most special special creative um, processes, you know, ever. But so, she is taking sixty percent of the shit, so <laughs> <laughs> But she had, you know, you'll make it a show money, don't worry about yeah, it. Yeah, I mean shit. I'm not complaining, man. Yeah. You get me? Hopefully she even pops out to one of the shows. Yeah, you know? I mean, like I ain't complaining, man. Richard Milley. <laughs> yeah, we, we ain't worried about this shit. It's Richard Milley, boy. Yeah, I'm changing my name. Trash. Yeah, that motherfucker sitting nice too. I see you white band <laughs> on it too. Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> Let me ask you this, right? So, you so depending on the deal, Bernard Boy signed with Atlantic Records. So if it's if it's a 360 deal, the yeah, yeah. By the time they will finish them, they check like the five percent pay you will get. But if 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 you know be three uh, three sixty dollar, like, maybe it you go figure like thirty or twenty. I don't know. You understand? And people are making a big issue, a big deal out of me saying, you say, eh, that is what happened when you chase a uh, hit, when when your 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 career is built on sampling. Like people are making it look like sampling be some button. I don't get it. It be here where we know they take the sampling thing seriously. Where emerging artists go feel left like uh, um, old uh, old artists in song. They go feel left everything. Lyrics, every beat, everything. We've had instances like that. They go feel left time like that. It not be sampling self. This one be paraphrasing. And nothing will be done. We just go talk about it on social media. Then that be all. They uh, up to sixty percent of your man get to people. They take ninety. When you sample big big artists like that, they, bro, five percent cry no will get because they have systems and structures where it they work. Here, I can't say same for when a people for here, and that is uh, a different topic to talk about some other day. But what I'm trying to say is there's nothing wrong with sampling um, an artist. You understand? And Bernard Boy still go to make money from it. I mean, the performance money and so you go to make money from it. As I said, based on the the, the, the the deal that he signed with Atlantic Records. If it's not a 360 deal, then the deal that makes sense. Your mind is entitled to the performance money. So even if it's me, if he's receiving a paltry sum of money from, let's say, royalties from the song side or streaming platforms and whatnot, at the end of the day, the performance money will balance the equation. There is nothing wrong with sampling like artists. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. See what? No, you see the way like they they, they, they infuse the whole thing, make it enter the Afrofusion level of real. You understand? If you, if you are not creative, you can't do it. And I feel like that is what most of most of uh, most of our artists here know. They but they know they get. If you aren't creative, you can't sample and make it like look like it be your own. That's why we always they catch people for here. Because the, the element of creativity isn't there. They just may say some of them no be sampling, be paraphrasing. Then they lift beats, everything, chorus, everything. And on your sampling. So me, this conversation that people are making look like Bernard Boy's career is bro, we get it. He sampled uh, um select um select songs. That is the point. Me as a day, I they wish they want to ask them first. Some imagine say somebody go some they go infuse some for some. They want to old. Imagine say somebody go sample a Adofone, a a you know a Beyonce Beyonce sample the Star Smith, right? 
she sampled Esther, Esther Smith on the um that Afrobeat album that she did with Shat that you know then the Afrobeat album. She sampled a Esther Smith. And they will say when an artist go to do something like this. Then they do, but maybe we don't get to that level where sampling will be accepted. And even if you sample for here, here too, people know they understand. Then go, oh, you go steal some. Just say, oh, we the, bro. People go for sample. Then, then people will call, oh, you go steal some. But anyway, so what I'm trying to say, there is nothing wrong with sampling um, songs and things. And bro, um, he has a, a, a hit. The song they out there, it be hit, whether you like it or not. So make you people stop this thing and I better boy, bro, forget it. If you like, if you know sample that thing and then but maybe the song self no go hit. So it played its part. And that is how it's supposed to be. That is how it is supposed to be. Structures and system where they work, you no. Know? This is normal. 60% self, she's being benevolent. Some would take like 95. I don't need to quit tripping, man. Y'all don't need to quit tripping. Anyway, my name is Kuji Sheldon. Let me know what you think about this particular story and, I mean, sampling in general. Because people are, people today that they talk, say, yeah, you know, they bring out the authenticity. Nigga, go and sit down somewhere. I'm out. Please go and buy the share button. <laughs>